presented by Black Magic Design. With the participation of Image et Technologie. We've been hearing about shotgun everywhere. It's everywhere. It's on the wall. It's on every wall actually here. So, and uh, we've talked about like compositing shotgun, like 3D and shotgun. Uh, project manager talked about shotgun. So why? So what? what why is it everywhere? What's the, what does it do? Good question. Well, shotgun uh, has been around for 10, 12 years. It was acquired by Autodesk a couple years ago, um, and we do primarily production tracking. Uh, review and approval, and then we provide a uh, toolkit, tools for asset management and building pipeline tools that integrate with the shotgun database. So that's the general idea. So we integrate with Maya, and we integrate with Max, and we integrate with Motion Builder, so uh, Flame as well. But we also integrate with you know competing products, Houdini, uh, Photoshop, um, Nuke, Hero. So we also uh, integrate with you know all kinds of things to, to make the production process easier. So, are you? Is it, is it like a task-based, schedule-based, calendar-based, or? It's, it would be more task-based. So you can schedule out your your show if it's shots or if it's assets, whatever you're tracking. You can create tasks for those, assign people, create dates, and then you communicate with notes. Uh, you can create review and approval. So you can create versions that have media that get sent to people. Um, your supervisors can filter on pages of playlists that they need to that they need to approve. They can annotate on those, provide notes. Those get sent back to the artist, so the artist can just keep track inside of Shotgun. Uh, it's a database with a web front end. It lives in the cloud, uh, so people can see it from anywhere. We have an iPhone review app, so people can review if they're standing in line at Starbucks and they need to get some notes back, or they wake up in the morning and renders overnight happen, they can get feedback right away. So we're trying to speed up the iteration process for supervisors and artists. And we're also providing a set of tools that traditionally have been Excel spreadsheets and email and post-it mm -hmm. notes and markers and everything and, and things get lost. So we keep it all in one place. We keep all the communication happening, the review and approval, we speed that up, provide some tools to integrate third, the DCCs in so you can start up Maya context aware. So if someone has a task, they can start it up and it knows what task they're in, it knows where to look for the files, it knows how to save them, what to name them, okay. where to put them. Uh, and so it just speeds up okay. that whole process. So all the naming conventions can be integrated in there. That's correct. Okay, and are you really deeply integrated into applications? So let's say I have a comment for a uh, that compositor can he open his project and have a marker there? Or where, where, to where do you go into the app integration? Well, or, what we provide are engines on those apps, okay. uh, or engines into the DCCs. And so that basically cracks open the DCC and it provides a menu. And then we provide a set of apps, like a loader app, that is universal across all of the DCCs that we have engines for. So if you have a loader, you'll see that same loader, whether it's in Nuke or whether it's in Maya. Um, and then we provide a set of hooks, and uh, the TDs can create their own automation if they want certain things to happen. Okay. Yeah. So, and you said it's all like web cloud based. Do you have local versions too? Or um, it, it's it's cloud based product. Yeah, okay. That's that's a product. We have some clients, some legacy clients who have local installations. Okay, so, work, so. so and where where is it like hosted? It's hosted mm -hmm. right, the, the main data center is in Texas right okay, now, but we use so. AWS for our media. Okay. So so it's uh, on the Amazon cloud for the media, and we've got some things we're looking at for for how we want to manage that. But okay. it's all been great. So you have a system that will create some like re pre review videos or review version proxies for review while still adding a link to the like iRes file yeah, on so, the local so, server. Yeah. yeah, sure. What happens is you can drag and drop your media into into a dialog, and that will transcode the media and put it up on our servers. So we have an overlay player and something uh, you know many different ways, but an overlay player where you can just pop something up and annotate and create notes. Your playlists you can submit uh, to a client review site, and that provides free accounts where your clients can then annotate and, and add notes. Okay. Um, so that's all the transcoded media. But we also uh, Autodesk 
acquired RV from Tweak Software. Mm -hmm. We acquired yeah. Tweak Software and RV uh, a little over a year ago. So we're deeply integrated with RV. So the paths to the local files can be pulled up in RV. And it's got all the windowing that you would find in our screening room application. So you can take notes, you can see the previous yeah. notes, you can annotate, and, and everything works either with your local files or with the transcoded files from the cloud. And as licensing goes, is it a like a per seat license or is it a site license? Yeah. It's per seat per month. Okay. So it's thirty dollars per user per month, uh, and uh, you control the active accounts. So when a company scales or they bring in contract workers, they can turn on accounts for them and then they can shut them back off. So scale really easily like that. Um, yeah. Great. Yeah. So well, thank you, man. That's a great overview of Shotgun. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>